You must excuse my hands, but uh, I've just been stripping a tall boy. <laughs> Do you mind if I just snooze around? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I was, uh, I was going to say, can I help you? But I don't think I can, can I? <laughs> I think you know exactly what you're looking for. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yes, well, actually, I, I was looking for something rather along the lines of a teapot stand. Oh. It's a birthday present for my wife. Uh -huh. I bought her a teapot for Christmas. And so I thought I'd follow it up with a teapot stand. Oh, last of the big spenders. <laughs> well, you could stand a teapot on here very nicely. Um, yes, but it's a little bit bigger than what I had in mind, really. It's big. It's big. But only an expert would have spotted it. <laughs> no, if you'd be advised, you can't go wrong with these, you know. Because these are going to rock it. The Americans are buying them up, you know. If you had, if you had six or seven of those tucked away, you'd never starve. I mean, uh, you wouldn't have room to eat, but you'd never starve. How much do they run to? Well, I'll have to look in my little boob. Um, I wouldn't want it to go to anybody who wasn't going to cottage it. But, uh, I think you're a cosseter, aren't you? <laughs> um, now then, it's 75 pounds, but um, I could stretch it and let you have it for 74 guineas. <laughs> well, I prefer to pay less, really. It, you know, it's funny you should say that, though, because <laughs> most people prefer to pay less, whereas I prefer to charge more, you know. <laughs> I think it's just a matter of taste, really. This is nice. Oh, I can see I'm going to have to watch you. <laughs> you really have the eye, don't you? Can you keep a secret? What? Wedgwood. <laughs> but I thought... I thought Wedgwood only did pottery. That's the secret. <laughs> it's a very unique piece. There's only... There's only one other in existence, and it's on trust for the nation. It's, it's 55 pounds, and if you pass that up, you want your bottom smashed. <laughs> That's not an antique. They had these when I was a boy. Oh, you said it, dear, not me. <laughs> Have you ever thought of going in for these? <laughs> I, uh, I like to think that this is Worcester. Well, what is it? Well, it's, uh, it's an 18th century breakfast cup, is that? <laughs> I mean, uh, in the 18th century, they used to have these great big breakfasts. I mean, none of you, none of you two prunes and a Weetabix, so they have some big cups. Uh, do you, uh, do you know what they're using these for nowadays? <laughs> Well, I know one thing. It's not teapot stands. Oh, get in the knife box. You're too sharp to me. <laughs> I was... I was reading in one of the Sunday newspapers that the, the latest trend is this camp thing. Have you got anything camp? Oh. <laughs> now he tells us. <laughs> well, you well have... have you got any camp teapot stands? <laughs> if you'd come in here a week ago, I was knee deep in county. <laughs> I've had I've had teapot stands in this shop as camp as a row of pink tents. Really? I tell a lie. Camp as a row of pink frilly tents. Really? But I'm not in this business to make money, you see. 